You know, on Smogon, there is this OU viability ranking thread, which basically lists Pokemon from the strongest to the weakest in OU tier and in any other tier. So for example here we have S rank, A rank, A plus rank and all that meaning that Pokemon in the S rank are gonna be the best Pokemon of the tier and then they're gonna go worse and worse until they reach the C minus rank. So you would expect that the strongest Pokemon from the S and A plus rank will hold their own grounds by themselves, right? But what if we put all of these Pokemon into a team without even thinking about the team? Will they be strong enough to just destroy their opponents? Let's check it out. So what I did is that I took the Pokemon from the S rank and from the A plus rank just going down. So we chose Greninja, Heatran, Landorus T, Lakazam, Mega, Ferrothorn and Magirna. And Smogon is kind enough to suggest a spread and moveset and everything in an exportable file. But sometimes there is more than one. But you know the challenge for today is to see if these Pokemon put together in a team without even thinking about the team at all, not a second spent on thinking about it, are gonna be good enough. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just export this into Pokemon Showdown. There is our first Pokemon. Next we have Heatran, exactly the same. So this time we have more than one set. See there's a specially defensive one, there's a Steelium Z one, but we're going with the top pick. So we're going with this one. Awesome, we have a Heatran. Next one is the lovely Landorus T. Everyone knows that it's the strongest Pokemon of all time in OU. So there we have it, a Scarf set. And here it is, a Scarf Lando T. Yummy. Next one is Alakazam Omega. So let's see what they have for us. Psychic focus, not bad. We're gonna take it. And there is our Alakazam. Next we have the defensive beast that is Ferrothorn. So let's check it out. Oh, it's Pedef. All right. And there is our Ferrothorn. Not bad. And last but not least is Magirna. I must admit I never played Magirna at all. So this is gonna be my first time, but cool, let's see. Okay, Timid, Ferium Z or Stelium Z? Let's see what we get. We get a Ferium Z. Okay. And here is the Magirna. And now you would say, okay, we have both Ferium Z and Firium Z, which is the difference of an A. But you know, th this is the challenge. I'm just gonna take those sets and I'm not gonna change a thing about them. So um, yeah, we're gonna just see which one we use. Now with our retardedly stupid and now with our S and A plus viability ranking thread team, we're gonna go into OU and we have brought back the I am pretty terrible nickname for this because it is pretty terrible. Let's go. Okay, so what we are up against is three Pokemon from the S rank, or A plus and S rank, which is that- okay, okay, okay. I think we should leave with the Greninja because that's exactly what he is gonna lead with. And if I'm correct, he has the same set, so he's gonna go for a U-turn, which would kind of make me want to go into Landorus because I don't want to take a U-turn to the face. No, he goes straight for Magirna, actually. Then we will go for a U-turn because he probably doesn't want to stay in on an Earthquake. He does want to stay in on an Earthquake, huh? Let's go into Heatran then. As he goes for Ice Beam, that deals absolutely no damage because we are a Heatran. As he goes to Landov, actually, okay. And we hit the Magma Storm, does massive damage, holy Christ, it does damage. Yeah, let's go Ferrothorn. He can easily U-turn out to... The uh, Victini, okay, he goes for that. Garmory. Okay. We will go back into the Heatran. As he goes for Brave Bird, does 19%. There is no shame in going for Magma Storm yet again. He goes for the Victini, takes 12%, gets Magma Stormed, which is pretty cool because, like, I don't see a reason not to go Earth Power here. Maybe or Z Celebrate. Zen Headbutt, okay, that deals a lot, but that's a dead Victini. So we are able to down the Victini, not bad. There's the Landorus again. Um, I think he will predict me to switch, so I'm gonna go for Magma Storm. Yes, 
Fucking no, God, of course. Yeah, kill me now. Awesome, I love it. I love it. Like, you call a switch, but yet it misses to, to do anything about it. Wow, that did absolutely zero. I think we should go Lando on this, even though the Ice Beam is pretty obvious here. But still, okay, he goes Floor Cannon. Just destroys us with that. Goes for Lando. We copy the Intimidate then, and we probably miss the Focus Blast. No, we don't. That's a dead Lando. Okay, if he goes Greninja, that tells me he's Scarfed, but he'll probably go Lopany. No, he goes Greninja, and he might be Scarfed. Judging by how ballsy he went in. I just want to focus blast anyway. Yeah, he is Scarfed. Goes for Skarm. Please don't miss. We don't miss. That's great. I think I want to recover first, see what he wants to go for. He goes for Brave Bird. Okay, deals damage to himself, so I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. Get rid of it. He should go Lopany now for the Fake Out. No, he goes back into Greninja. I think I'm just gonna focus blast anyway. Dark Balls, okay. Because he goes Battle Bomb now, and he has a Scarf, so we have to go Magirna. We have no problem with going Magirna here. He goes for Lopony. We go for the Gear. This is Mega. Let's Focus Blast. Of course, the Fake Out. What else? Please don't miss. Thank you. Bye. That's awesome. We get plus one. And then there is the forfeit. So as you can see, OU versus OU. Yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay, so here is kind of a team which uses RU, UU, UUBL, and the Yancy. You, friend, have no fly resist. Or ground resist, I mean, you have no flying type Pokemon. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't just Earthquake. Just for protect. Hmm. Goes to the buzz. I assume he's just gonna go straight for a bulk up. Kazam, I guess. Okay, he goes for Drain Punch. That doesn't really matter. Will he lift a Psychic from me, or should I just go to Chansey Counter here? I'm gonna go to Chansey Counter. Yes. Thank you. And there's the forfeit. Wow, my team just makes people forfeit. Oh god, okay. Then one more. Okay, we have almost a purely OU team except Dickersby, which is... Okay, okay, okay. okay. Anyway, Landorus is a great lead. Of course, Tapu Koko. Get that thing up. And you will go straight into Halucha. Oh, he doesn't. I think he wants to taunt me. Oh, hidden power. He goes for hidden power ice. Which is a-okay. Just Magma Storm. Diggersby. And that Diggersby takes massive damage. Is this thing faster than us? 280. It could be it could be faster. Okay, so we're gonna go Lando. And he goes for Spikies. And we go for U-turn. On the Rotom. Nice. Okay, let's go Kazam, I guess. Because we can just fire off a Psychic at anything. That's good damage. He goes for Volt Switch, of course. He, go, he goes Diggersby, actually. Okay, Quick Attack, we don't want that. Or Spikes again, let's see what he goes for. He goes for Quick Attack and dies to Iron Barbs, which is cool. Goes into Heat uh, Ram. Uh, we could go for our own Heat Ram. Hmm, yeah. Let's. As he goes for Earth Power, good switch or good call. Nice. Quick Ninja. And fire off a Hydro Pump into anything. Nothing appreciates it. Rotom dies. Unless we miss. Okay, Heatran. Wow, this Heatran actually took it like a champ. Look at that. Oh, it didn't. Okay, goodbye, Rotom. We become the Battle Bond Greninja. Not bad. Charizard. Honestly, we just did this. Drought. Ah, it lives because of the drought, I guess. Solar Beam. Okay, cool. I don't see a reason not to go for it then. Just gonna... Okay, should I fire Psychic here? I think I should. Everything will die from it, so that's that's a killer move right here. Tapu Koko. Electric Terrain is set. Tapu Koko dies. He will go into Halucha now, exactly. 
And I think he will just go straight for the acrobatics. Yeah, let's go for a thorn. Yep. Okay. We restore some health. We can go for the gyro. If we live, we live. That is beautiful. He takes some good damage from that. And he has to kill me now, so I'm just gonna go for gyro again. Unless he has roost, he does not. He takes unnecessary damage from that. But Alakazam actually wins, so we're gonna hope that this stone edge connects. Critical hit does connect. Okay, so that's GG basically. Because we kill with Stone Edge, and if it misses, we kill with Alakazam, so that's GG. My god, dude. Let's see if we. Okay, we miss here. Because, of course, he goes for Roost. That doesn't matter because as long as this also misses. No, it doesn't. Okay, goodbye, Charizard. Cool. And then Heatran also should die. And it does. Cool. Okay, GG. So, uh, as you can see, it is a great team. Although it has its problems. And, of course, it's up to you as a player to know um, how, uh, how to play it. Also, just to keep in mind, this wasn't low ladder at all. It was like somewhat middle ladder. It wasn't 1000, so it was 1300. So cool. Yeah, so um, nice. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.